Alright, this is much better now. So that's for dinner pork. That's about, what, three quarter, inch and a quarter thick. Nice and juicy. I'm throwing them out right now. Right now I'm cooking Lenny a little bit of toast with butter. Lenny! What's up? Say hi! <laughs> but yeah, Lenny's gonna have a little bit of snack. And we're gonna have some pork. Yeah. Alright, so Lenny wants to play basketball indoors. This is just a lazy Monday. We got one good thing that's going on today. Is we got the Bruins, baby. I don't know if you guys can see that. We got the Bruins playing LA. We're putting a smack down on them. 2 nothing. Lenny wants to play basketball. <laughs> or something like that. I don't know what the hell he's doing. But this is pretty much it, man. But that's going to be the bad boy right there. Mm-hmm. Alright, so here we go. Pork is defrost. So we're going to go with grill mates pork rub. Look how thick these bad boys are. That's how you want to do it right there. That's thick. It's got a nice little fat on there too. Nice. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put it in this pan over here. And believe it or not, in this jar right here, that's my mama's olive oil straight from Portugal. I had to wrap it up in duct tape, so. But this is uh, it's actually it's a small bottle. It's like an orange juice bottle from Portugal that my mom just puts. You know, we have we have a bunch of olive trees out there. And don't ask me how the hell they make olive oil, but they make olive oil out of olives. And we have like an olive olive uh like we got like a grove of olives up in in Portugal. And so my sister went to Portugal and my mom gave us a bottle of olive oil from our land in Portugal. We're going to put, put that motherfucker right in there. So, let me start doing the, the rub on there. And then I'll be right back. Leonardo! <laughs> yeah, my boy likes to stare at himself in the microwave. My boy's odd. Alright, so that's the end result of the rub down on the pork. It's all ready to go. Let it sit here for about a half an hour. Let some of the, the rub go through the meat, go through the juice, you know. Go through the meat. And, uh, yeah, let me see if I can do this with one hand here. Actually, hold on one second. I can't do it. I'll be back. Alright, so this pan. see. Coat that sucker up real nice. Yeah, we use we use olive oil straight from Portugal. Up in this household, I got enough. Olive, this is about right here of olive oil. Will last me about three years. <laughs> Start this pig up. Alright, so I don't know if you guys can see the steam coming off of it, but I think this thing is ready to go. So let's grab a fork. We're going. Leonardo, what's up? 
cooking with Daddy, Leonardo? Daddy. Leonardo, you cooking with Daddy? Welcome in. We're going to have some pork? You like pork, right? Mmm. Then he can't wait to eat this, some of this pork. Fuck. No, pork. Not <laughs> that other word. Damn, my boy. Keep swearing. Oh, shit. So you got one. Two. I'm gonna put the really fat one in the middle. Let him. Let him ride, bitch. And there you pretty much go, man. Just let that sucker cook for about. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let that cook for about ten minutes on each side. And what golden? We're gonna have some pork. Some fake mashed potatoes. And what golden? Right, Lenny? We ain't good tonight, buddy. Huh? Ooh, he's right. Let me set in this pan. Ain't not much to it, man. Just let the let the juices do its thing. Let the olive oil do the thing. I'll be back when I'm ready to flip it. Oh man, I wonder if you could see it, that fat one in the middle. Look how thick. You know, the other ones are probably about an inch. The butcher man, he must have screwed up on this one. <laughs> Cause he got that one really fat. That's the way I like it. Alright, Lenny, ready to flip the pork? Alright, so we got the pork. Flip. We're gonna flip it over. Hold on. There's one. We got one. And we got two. That one in the middle, I don't know, man. Well, I guess we're gonna have to flip it. But that sucker's gonna have to stay on there for a little while longer. I think it's fat. And uh, we actually we only had it for about seven minutes. So now we just, I guess we cook on this side for about seven, maybe ten minutes. And then she's done. Right, Lenny? What's that, chocolate milk? I'll just put some some bread. Defrost, let's see if it's defrosted. This is a Portuguese roll. We call them pop six. I'm gonna put it in there for another maybe 30 minutes, 30 seconds. Oh shit, no. Time defrost, 30 seconds. You know what I do with my bread, make it last long, is I put it in my freezer. Keep it in your freezer. And then when then you want, you just take one or two out, throw them in the throw it in the microwave, and boom, you got fresh bread every time. I got some chicken up in here. Got some pork. This is the rest of the pork. I got some big monster steaks. And, you know, we got some other crap right there. This is a money. This is a, a whole leg of lamb right there that I'm waiting to cook up. That's going to be Easter. But, yeah, it's my fridge. Yeah, Lenny. Drink that chocolate milk, buddy. Get your bones nice and strong. You want to have good, strong bones? Drink milk. Here in the Martin's household, we only drink we only drink water, milk, and juice. None of that sugary drinks. But you can see the bread. Nice and fresh. Throw it in the toaster oven. Put some butter on that thing. Pa plow. Alright. 
All right. So to make my fake mashed potatoes taste a little bit better, I like to, you know, put some black pepper on there. Grab, grab the olive oil. Pour it into, I mean, a little bowl. Pour a little bit into the bowl. I can pour a whole lot of it. <laughs> you know, olive oil. Oh, crap. A little bit of vinegar. Just a splash. And boom. We just kind of scoop it up a little bit. Mix it around. Mmm, awesome. Now you got some mashed potatoes, some vinegar, some olive oil. That's the best thing to put on, on any kind of potato. I don't know if it's a Portuguese thing or a European thing. I don't know what the hell it is, but I love me some olive oil and vinegar on my potatoes. And I think these things are looking pretty much done. So I'm gonna serve it on the plate. I got my bread, <laughs> nice and toasted. So Lenny, we're gonna be eating like, king hey, what are you doing with that? Get out of here, man. All right, let me serve it up. All right, so we just got done. All right, so this is what we got. We got the pork. Right there, that's my dish. Let's see, get close up. Where the hell is it? So right there, still nice and juicy in the middle. It's all about searing. You want to sear the outside so that the juices stay locked in the middle. Mm. Banging. Mm, <laughs> all right. No, Lenny, it's not chicken, buddy. It's pork. You can have some of mine, too. So, that's pretty much how I make pork around here. Very simple. Keep it, keep it simple as possible. Still tastes good. Now it's, time to kick, now it's time to gain some LBs. My boy's on a training program. Lenny, where'd you go? Yeah. Alright. Y'all have a good night now. <laughs>